You must remember this A kiss is just a kiss A sigh is just a sigh The fundamental things apply As time goes by And when two lovers woo we took up uh, a very strong uh, campaign against tuberculosis because tuberculosis had affected a number of our members uh, because of the way they used to have to work 24-hour shifts and longer and uh, it, uh, it, it, it had a very bad effect upon our, our members and uh, uh, so we waged a continuous battle in the 40s and the 50s against tuberculosis. And uh, when they eventually uh, brought in legislation uh, that uh, uh, that everyone was to get uh, to was everyone was to get uh, tested uh, uh, for tuberculosis, great praise was heaped upon uh, the waterside workers for the campaign that they had waged against tuberculosis here in this state. Well, because they got a very strong social consciousness. And uh, they're not just interested in, in uh, wages and working conditions, they're interested in the conditions of uh, the Australian people. Uh, working men and women in this country always get the support of waterside workers. This is probably the single most important part of Sydney's history, apart from Circular Quay itself. The area that they're going to call Barangaroo, named after Benelong's wife, Benelong being the point at which the Opera House stands. This is the next headland along. Was there a particular a particular site along here that you had most of your work, or was I it just did, all yes, over the place? We, no, we worked in, in, all, all over the place, but this was our main area of work okay. along the Hungry Mile. So with the stevedoring labour would go from wharf Across to wharf, to trying to get work, trying to get picked up yeah. 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 in the bull system. Yeah. So every day they'd have to do that. Every day, yeah. Every day they'd have to get up and fight. Every day, to every earn. shift. A meagre living, oh, doing well. incredibly arduous work. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, it's not far from where we're sta standing. That's right. We're yeah. from yeah. That's, that's, that's that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you live locally? Uh, yes, I live at Glebe. It's such an important part of Sydney's history. All the effort and work that went into the area by the people during the Depression. Walking from wharf to wharf, desperately trying to get jobs, getting knocked back by the bosses, going hungry, their families going hungry. And what, what have you found the most interesting? They didn't get paid that much. No, and if they couldn't do the work, they didn't get paid, they went hungry. Yes, it was that's right. Unimaginable, really. When many of the workers lived here in Millers Point, all around Millers Point, it was the waterside workers and seafarers, the whole of the community was bustling. Thousands of people worked down there, thousands. What was the most difficult physical job? What, what was well, that, what was, that the most was difficult? one of the okay. most difficult. Yep. And, and, and wool probably was very difficult, but because also it's hard to lift a lot at one yeah, time. A lot, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of dirty cargo too. Sure. I mean, the maritime strikes were in the late 19th century, and probably decent conditions were delivered in the late 60s. They toil and sweat in slavery could make the devil smile to see their faces of the Sydney wharfies tramping down the hungry mile. Day will come, I come it must, when these same slaves shall arise, and throw the revolution's smoke ascending to the sky. The master's face shall I'd like to congratulate the MUA on its determined campaign to preserve the memory of this place. The City of Sydney was proud to support your bid to rename the Hungry Mile. The so-called bull system that Harry's been talking about today and Paddy's been talking about offer jobs to the biggest and the strongest, all the most compliant, and worker was pitted against worker. There was no quarter given to men who were sick, who were injured, or who were just old. Comrades, I wish to take uh, uh, advantage of this meeting and pay my uh, warmest and best tributes to this great union of ours and uh, its traditions and its history. And I know that the young men and the young women that are here today, they will protect that uh, history and tradition 
and they will build even a big, bigger and better union than we have. Thank you. Well, it was a wonderful celebration. It's uh, the, certainly uh, the most uh, you know, wonderful birthday I can remember ever having because uh, there were so many of my old mates there, my family members were there, and uh, my nieces uh, were there. And um, generally speaking, it was a great day. Harry is a, a true legend. True legend. And um, I think it's fair to say, Sydney's most loved wharfie. And uh, an inspiration to working class men and women on how to be a great leader and how, in practice, the united front work should be prosecuted. And Harry showed us and led the way in his politi political activity over many, many years on the Sydney waterfront and in the communist movement more broadly. A number of members have asked me, uh, now that I am 90, what I am going to do uh, next. I want to draw your att att attention to the advice of Zorba, not George Gotts, my mate, uh, but you remember Zorba, many of you. When Zorba was asked about this, he said, they say, I am old, and soon death will come knocking on my door, and I will say, give me each rest. That is a pack of lies. <laughs> I have enough life in me to fight the world, so I fight. I am going to join you in that fight, and all of the people that are here. Thank you. Thank you. Sure.